Introduction to Adobe Illustrator CS6 Tools We have the Illustrator application opened up here and in this tutorial we will be giving you a short introduction about all the tools of the toolbox of Adobe Illustrator. This is the toolbox of Adobe Illustrator. Selection tool. The Illustrator selection tool is for selecting objects in your layout such as shapes and blocks of types. Once selected, you can use the tool to move, transform or apply any number of filters or effects to the selected objects. Basically, the selected object is the one you are currently working on. Direct Selection Tool The Direct Selection Tool selects and moves existing shape anchor points. Group Selection Tool This tool allows you to select individual object within groups as well as subgroups within groups. Magic Wand Tool The Magic Wand Tool is one of these selections tool which gives Illustrator users some very interesting ways of making object-oriented selections. Lasso Tool The Lasso Tool is yet another selection tool that works much the same way as the Direct Selection Tool in the Illustrator. It can be used to select either single objects within groups or single anchor point on a shape as well. Pen tool. The pen tool is perhaps the most powerful tool in Illustrator. It can be used to create countless lines, curves and shapes and serves as the building block for illustration and design. The pen tool contains four tools inside. They are Pen Tool, Add Anchor Tool Point, Delete Anchor Point Tool, and Convert Anchor Point Tool. The Pen Tool is perhaps the most bizarre and valuable tool Illustrator has to offer. It places anchor points which define a path that eventually becomes an object. Add Anchor Point Tool Add Anchor Point Tool is used for adding anchor points on a path segment. Delete Anchor Point Tool Delete Anchor Point Tool is used for removing anchor point from a path segment. Convert Anchor Point Click on an anchor point with handles to remove them. Alternatively, click midway along a path to manipulate it as a curve. Type Tool Type Tool is used to type anything in Adobe Illustrator. Typing is an essential part of Illustrator. Whether you are desktop publishing, designing logos or using text for image building, you will be reaching for the Type Tool. Area Type Tool the Area Type tool is for constraining typed text within a path, allowing you to create blocks of text in any shape. Type on a Path tool Type on a Path tool in Illustrator is used for wrapping text around shape. The Type on a Path tool keeps text on a path. Vertical Type tool the Vertical Type tool allows you to type text that runs vertically on your document. This text can be edited just like any other text in Illustrator. Vertical Area Type tool Like the Area Type tool, this tool allows you to enter text vertically in any closed shape. Vertical Type on a Path tool this tool runs typed text vertically along a path. Once the text is on the path, it can be shifted around by using the selection tool to drag the eye beam forward or back. Line Segment Tool The Line Segment Tool is just about the simplest drawing tool in the toolbox. It's used to draw straight lines, period. That said, it can draw angled lines too, and lines of specific lengths. Arc Tool 
the arc tool draws a quarter of some sort of ellipse, a regular oval shape or circle. Spiral tool. The spiral tool draws spirals. Rectangular grid tool. The rectangular grid tool draws rectangular grids that are called groups of paths in the layers panel. Polar grid tool. Polar grid tool draws elliptical or circular grids. Rectangle tool. The rectangle tool draws squares and rectangles. Rounded rectangle tool. The rounded rectangle tool draws squares and rectangles with rounded corners. The ellipse tool. The ellipse tool draws ellipse and circles. Polygon tool. The polygon tool draws polygons with all sides having equal lengths. The star tool. The star tool draws stars. Flare tool. The flare tool in Illustrator is a bit of a mystery. The flare tool can be tweaked and transformed to create some spectacular special effects. Paint brush tool. Basically, the paint brush tool functions like the pencil tool, allowing you to click and drag to create a path. The difference is the paint brush tool applies predefined vector art to the paths you create. This might seem like a simple distinction, but using brushes will greatly improve your illustrator productivity and helps you create artwork you never thought possible. Pencil tool. The pencil tool draws the lines and illustrator draws the anchor points. Smooth tool. The smooth tool lets you go back and slightly modify a selected path by drawing over it. Path eraser tool. The path eraser tool lets you erase parts of any selected path. Blob brush tool. Illustrator's blob brush is an intuitive and versatile tool. When used with a graphics tablet, you can create loose, painterly images that venture far from the sharp, clean lines usually associated with vector graphics. Eraser tool. The eraser tool of Adobe Illustrator erases away parts of an object as if it were a vector art gum. Scissors tool. The scissors tool in Adobe Illustrator is a quick way to cut a path into two separate segments. To use the scissors tool, select it from the toolbox and place the pointer over the point on the path you want to cut. Knife tool. The knife tool of Adobe Illustrator slices objects along a freehand path you draw with the tool cutting the object into parts. To use, select the knife icon from the toolbox and then drag the pointer over an object. The knife will cut in a freehand path of your choosing. Rotate tool. Rotate tool is used to rotate a selected path or series of paths in a standard 360 degree circle around a central origin point. Reflect tool. Using the reflect tool, you can reflect an object to create an exact mirrored shape of it. Scale tool. Using the scale tool, you can scale an object proportionally or non-uniformly. Shear tool. The shear tool lets you shear an object by selecting an axis and dragging to set a shear angle. Reshape tool. The reshape tool lets you select anchor points and sections of paths and adjust them in one direction. You determine that direction by dragging an anchor point with the reshape tool selected. 
width tool the width tool is used to create different width strokes along an open or closed path by creating width points path can have multiple width points and they can also be saved as a stroke style for access to the same width style wrap tool this is similar to photoshop's liquify tool the wrap tool found on the tools panel applies a wrap effect to objects on the artboard simply drag the wrap tool over an object and watch it change before your eyes twirl tool the twirl tool is used to create a marble background effect pucker tool the pucker tool deflates an object by moving control points towards the cursor bloat tool the bloat tool inflates an object by moving control points away from the cursor scallop tool the scallop tool adds random curved details to the outline of an object crystallize tool the crystallize tool adds random spike details to the outline of an object wrinkle tool the wrinkle tool adds wrinkle like details to the outline of an object free transform tool the free transform tool allows you to create scale resize reflect mirror image shear slant or distort an object builder tool the shape builder tool merges simple shapes to create custom complex shapes live paint bucket the live paint bucket tool paints faces and edges of live paint groups with the current paint attributes live paint selection the live paint selection tool selects faces and edges within live paint groups perspective grid tool the perspective grid allows creating and rendering artwork in perspective perspective selection tool the perspective selection tool allows you to bring objects move objects in perspective move objects in perpendicular to its current direction mesh tool the mesh tool creates and edits meshes and mesh envelopes gradient tool the gradient tool adjusts the beginning and ending point and angle of gradients within objects or applies a gradient to object eye dropper tool the eye dropper tool samples and applies color type and appearance attributes including effects from objects measure tool the measure tool measures the distance between two points blend tool the blend tool creates a series of objects blended between the color and shape of multiple objects symbol spread tool the symbol spread tool places multiple symbol instances as a set on the artboard symbol shifter tool the symbol shifter tool moves symbol instances and change stacking order symbol scruncher tool the symbol scruncher tool moves symbol instances closer together or farther apart symbol sizer tool the symbol sizer tool resizes symbol instances symbol spinner tool 
The symbol spinner tool rotates symbol instances. Symbol strainer tool. The symbol strainer tool colorizes symbol instances. Symbol screener tool. The symbol screener tool applies opacity to symbol instances. Symbol styler tool. The symbol styler tool applies the selected style to symbol instances. Column graph tool. The column graph tool creates graphs that compare values using vertical columns. Stacked column graph tool. The stacked column graph tools creates graphs that are similar to column graphs but stacks the columns on top of one another. Bar graph tool. The bar graph tool creates graphs that are similar to column graphs but positions the bars horizontally instead of vertically. Stacked bar graph tool. The stacked bar graph tool creates graphs that are similar to stacked column graphs but stacks the bars horizontally instead of vertically. Line graph tool. The line graph tool creates graphs that use points to represent one or more sets of values with a different line joining the points in each set. This type of graph is often used to show the trend of one or more subjects over a period of time. Area graph tool. The area graph tool creates graphs that are similar to line graphs but emphasizes totals as well as changes in values. Scatter graph tool. The scatter graph tool creates graphs that plot data points as paired sets of coordinates along the x and y axis. Scatter graphs are useful for identifying patterns or trends in data. Pie graph tool. The pie graph tool creates circular graphs whose wedges represent the relative percentages of the value compared. Rudder graph tool. The rudder graph tool creates graphs that compare sets of values at given points in time or in particular categories and is displayed in a circular format. This type of graph is also called a web graph. Artboard tool. The artboard tool creates separate artboards for printing or export. Slice tool. The slice tool is used in creating web graphics to divide an image up into separate images. Slice Selection Tool The Slice Selection Tool selects web slices. Hand Tool The Hand Tool moves the Illustrator artboard within the illustration window. Zoom Tool Select Zoom Tool then you can easily zoom in and zoom out of your page. So that was the brief introduction on the tools of Adobe Illustrator CS6. Thank you.